So, Peros, and uh, we get an early look at two of Britain's Attention. greatest current oarsmen, James Go. Fode and Matthew Langridge, on the left of your picture, rowing for Leander and Molsey. And on the right, it's the boys from Upper Thames Rowing Club. This is their big day. We saw them win yesterday. Two men on the right from the London club, been in the pair for some years now. Uh, around the club scene, they are no match for the world silver medalists, and we'll see them as the race pans out. No doubt they've got an early lead as the uh, Sons of the Thames pair steers over, but Foden language there, still very high. I wonder if they're going for a record in this event. I think that's held by Pinston and Redgrave, sure. Well, I think this is the day to do it. If they saw the earlier times fall by nine seconds, they'd love to be pinned as a very good pair. You know, I'd fancy that. I mean, I think the record for the Silver Goblets to the barrier is held by Reed and Triggs Hodge, 1 minute 56. I did think it was Redgrave and Pinson, of course, they hold the course record. But uh, I reckon that Language and Foe did say, you know, let's have a go at the barrier record. We've seen it's going, <laughs> Matt Language, the stroke, he's going mad. They're he's still absolutely <laughs> going crazy. They're still up at 40. What? They are going for a barrier record. Absolutely. We won't know the time for this, but. Uh, it's uh, 1.56 held by the uh, British silver medalist pair, uh, Pete Reid and Triggs Hodge. And you can see they've Absolutely. gone to the barrier and, uh, well, we'll bring you news of the time as and when we get it, but the British pair have now just paddled light completely. James Fode nearest you, the Molsey rower with the black top. Matthew Langridge, um, the Leander rower, come back from a bit of injury this year ahead of him. And we'll talk more about them, but the course on the uh, left of your picture, the men in blue from Sons of the Thames having their big day just in front of the umpire's launch. That's Mirko Brinker and Peter Reynolds. It is a massive day for them, and uh, it's great to see Penley, the sort of internationals, up against the uh, club rowers. Well, it's Brinker's last season of competition, and I think if you're going to go out, you should race the current world silver medalist. There's certainly no shame in going up against the second of uh, the best in the world, really. They'll race against the Kiwis in a few more weeks. Yeah, well, this is the, the British pair that are going to Lucerne to uh, race the all-conquering Kiwi pair, Hamish Bond and Eric Murray. Um, probably the best crew in the world right now, probably one of the best crews the world has ever seen, I think, in rowing. And uh, these are the guys who have got to try and beat them. Matthew Langridge, of course, a former world junior champion in single skulls. He's the man in the white Leander top. And uh, if you just tuned in, this is a race. Uh, the pair that you're looking at now, the British international pair, world silver medalists, went off so fast to try and, I think, break the record to the barrier. It's very fast conditions in this race. And we're looking at the man in black there behind Langridge, James Fode, a fanatical Southampton football club supporter and uh, he's just moved down to Southampton with his family but a young child and uh, does the commute up to Caversham to the British base well, with their speed they've shown the last several years they certainly should have the horsepower to set a barrier record I'd be surprised if they don't break it yeah I mean that's going to be a big ask the thing is it's it's Reed and Hodges barrier record the 156 so you know Matty Langridge is going to go into the Ander club and go bosh there you are Pete Reed <laughs> so there's no doubt they went out to take it and I think Pete might have a little joke with Matthew if they haven't broken it because uh, well that's just the little things that keep you happy at this end the sharp end of right you know but at the same time they need to show so Sean we're hearing they were three seconds off the barrier record 159 wow and uh, I mean, that's a, an amazingly quick time. <laughs> you know, it's, a lot of fours won't do that time, but uh, they did try and break it very publicly. And uh, I don't know if Pete Reed does watch this. Of course, he's racing here tomorrow as part of the British Eight. Andy Hodge um, is not at the moment rowing. He's recovering from glandular fever. We wish you well, Andy. And uh, if you are watching your uh, international crewmates, uh, Matt Langridge and James Fode in the goblets. Your record to the barrier is safe, Andy Hodge, and uh, we do hope to see Andy Hodge back in action next year. 
I know things are going well for him on the recovery. I'm not sure if he's back in training yet. But, uh, Hodge and Reed's record is safe, sure. Oh, that's good. But it could be a training tactic. They're racing the Kiwis in Lucerne. They need to get an early lead on the Kiwis. Yeah, but the Kiwis aren't bothered because the Kiwis just, like, they go off their, like, last at 250, and then they keep the same speed, and they're in the front at 500. I mean, it's amazing. They're second 250 and third 250 pace. So, and fourth 250. And, and, and to be quite honest, Foden language would not go off like that in a 2K race because they would just blow up completely. So I don't think they could sustain that pace, but maybe it's a tactic. The sons of the Thames pair, Brinker and Reynolds, the men in blue, we haven't talked about them that much. This is a club pair. They win uh, local events at Peterborough Regatta, Twickenham Regatta. It's a big day for them up against the uh, world silver medal pair who are on the left of your picture. A stately progress down past the enclosures and they soak up the applause. Matt Langridge has been known to take his hand off the blade um, and uh, he won't do so now. He would uh, be showing too much disrespect, but he is looking round at the enclosures, the Leander men and uh, James Fode, the Molsey man, with his eyes straight ahead of him. Still rolling very well and a good race for the Sons of the Thames from Hammersmith. Yeah. Had to miss um, racing early in the season due to injury, but they're very much back now and uh, looking to progress in this regatta through to the semi finals tomorrow. So Foden Langridge take that heat of the silver goblets. That language on the left of your picture, James Fode on the right, and you can hear the buzzer for the two men from Sons of the Thames, Merkabrinka and Peter Reynolds.